carry GANs with newbie phenomenon, soon to be newbie rewards. So check your email uh, for the pre-launch announcement. What I wanted to show you right now is uh, how to add a contact form to your WordPress blog. Now, lots of ways of doing it. Um, I have two on the blog this week, but one of them is C forms, and this seems to be one of the big players in, the, in that you know that plugin. So I thought I'd show you how to do it. Now, I couldn't find it by searching through WordPress itself. So you have to go to the C, the C Forms uh, 2 or C Forms 11 um, website itself, and you can just search for that on uh, on YouTube, on, on on Google. It's getting late here, and find it. But I found it at uh, www.deliciousdays.com forward slash C Forms dash plugin. That's www.deliciousdays, D-E-L-I-C-I-O-U-S, days, D-A-Y-S, that's one word, dot com, forward slash cform, C-F-O-R-M-S, dash, plugin. And it takes you to this page. And all you have to do is download the plugin, and you save it as a zip file. So download it and save it somewhere on your hard drive as a zip file. Then if you go to your WordPress blog, which is where we are right now, you go to plugins, you go to add new, and then you search for the plugin. Now I'm not going to do it because um, you know we can go ahead and search for. Let's go to upload. I'm sorry, you upload. You don't search. You upload. You browse for the plugin. I'm on a Mac here. And you'll see. You'll see a plugin here. If I go ahead and install now, I've already installed it, so it'll give me an error. But you just click install. It it installs the plugin for you, and then you go ahead and activate it. Once you activate it. You'll, what you'll find is down on the lower left here, see the C Forms 2, you'll have Form Settings, Global Settings, Styling, etc., and Help, which walks you through some of it. You can go into the Form Settings and check the form. You can change the name of the form. You can change the fields, the way it looks, uh, all kinds of stuff. Very, very powerful. I'm not going to go into it here. You'll play with it yourself. But look at all the stuff you can change on this, and it's free. Once you've done it, you go to Update Settings over here. So any changes you made, you must update before, so it'll work. Then all you have to do to insert the form, the, easy, the way I found it, the easiest way to, for me to do it anyway, is if you go into your post, you go to, uh, let's go to a page, because I put it in a page. So we'll go to edit a page. And I just put a form in my About Carrie Gans page. And all I did was go into the HTML. And at the very bottom here, just put that little tag in. And you can copy that from the actual um, C Forms 2 site. Now, there's another way of doing it, and you know, where there's a little uh, icon. I, for some reason, couldn't get that to work myself. But by putting this little tag in here, it worked fine. So I put the tag in, and if you go to view the page, there's the form. You see, I changed the name, and you can change any of these fields, and you can also tell it where to send the validation. So what will happen is, Someone fills out this form, puts a message in. When they click submit, it'll come to your uh, email address that you've put into your WordPress blog. That's all there is to it. So it's real simple to use. Uh, I'm sure there are other ways of doing it, but this is the way I found anyway. So if you're interested in using C forms, um, you know, be my guest. That's a that you know, hopefully it'll work for you. Anyway, enjoy it, and we'll see you hopefully at Newbie Rewards when it becomes active. For the time being, go over to newbiephenomenon.com. Have a great day, and we'll see you at the next plugin.